stop with Roman Yonkers, <laughs> Juliet. And all this time that you've been waiting. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Choo -choo. <laughs> Hello to all the hair besties in the land. I'm with my model, Kristen here. She has a little bit of a, what do you call this? A hoodie or a smurfy beanie? Okay, let's <laughs> take it off. Kristen, what is under here? A little bit of a retouch. She's a natural level eight and a half. I want to share you guys with you guys how I use the dark shadows in my Danny line and use the dual boosters to showcase how we could blur it into permanent color because the dual boosters, you can use it in the permanent, the demi, or alone. And her hair is the perfect canvas to do it. And I love your short hair. You're so cute and sexy. Are you excited about your transformation? Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> is this a paranormal hair activity situation? I don't think so, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Okay guys, here is my Danny permanent color and 8SP and dark shadows. So keep in mind, because it is permanent color, it does have ammonia in it. And ammonia does lift the hair or break the base to the hair. Dark shadows is formulate very differently than the rest of the other colors in the permanent color. It's calibrated at a lower ammonia level, so that way it only has the ability to subtly shift the base half a level, if even, uh, depending on how resistant the hair is. Uh, she's about level eight and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it equal parts. So one part 8SP, which is silver pearl, my identity permanent color. So now we are using my identity dark shadows. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it equal parts. It's an oxidative color, so you're not gonna see the pigment as it comes out. Okay, but it goes really deep. This is really, really intense. So remember, we're using a full tube, 8SP to a full tube of dark shadows. The whole point is drama because she, she kind of gives me this grungy, uh, rocker, you know, little sass, little attitude type of feel. I'm hoping I'm right. I shouldn't be stereotyping you based off of you. <laughs> That's wrong of me. I should not be doing that, but I think that you have a little, you're grungy, right? Well, I don't know. You came in with that beanie. So <laughs> I'm just thinking that you have a little, you know, sass to you. So we're going to put that depth in with dark shadows. Okay. So generally with permanent color, you will use 10 volume identity developer. But sometimes I feel once you guys get Acquainted with the line and understand how it works. I want to use six volume, which is actually designed for demi permanent color, but I'm going to use it for this type of situation because I don't want additional lift. So, six volume will ensure that you get a, more of a subtle shift. Okay, so equal parts here. So, that'll make it 212 grams all together with the color. And I'm actually going to utilize Olaplex in this formula, okay? So I'm going to whisk up the color and mix it together first, okay? So you're going to see me whip it up here. And I'm actually going to put, put the routage down first. So this is the routage formula. So now that's all nice and stirred, I'm going to mix a little Olaplex. That's about as much Olaplex I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in. So we're going to pour that Olaplex in. This will ensure the protection and control that we need at that scalpage, okay? Thoroughly mixed and ready to apply. Remember, it's an oxidative color. It will go really, really dark. This is gonna be exciting because to have that depth at the routage is gonna give her so much attitude. Do, do you think you can handle attitude? Oh, I can definitely handle attitude. I like her. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so now that I have the color mix, I'm gonna apply the Chateau Routage formula right on her scalp edge here. Okay, about an inch out right there where it meets her regrowth. And I can blur it out just a little bit. And we want a grungy feel, so I'm not trying to make it look natural. So not only does Dark Shadow has a lower ammonia content, Dark Shadows is very, very pigmented. Normally I wouldn't put a full tube in. Normally I only do five grams to my formula or maybe 10 grams to my full tube of you know 8SP or whatever 10RG uh, permanent color formula. But because I want drama and exaggerate her grungy look that she has. I'm gonna go with the full tube mixing equal parts of eight silver pearl with uh, dark shadows. That way it goes really, really dark. Give her a lot of attitude. I'm gonna do your simple four quadrant shadow rooting, almost like you're doing a retouch. I'm gonna do that first before I mix any of my other formulas and blur it through, just like so. And even if it slightly runs down the blonde area, 
area of her hair, I find that's very, very forgiving because I'm gonna go back in and blur in just 8SP by itself with the dual boosters in the formula. Dark Shadows is created at a more cooler, smoky base. So you're cooling down uh, the root because you don't want hot roots. You don't want anything to glow. If you're doing a redhead or a brunette when you're lifting, just adding five grams into the formula just on the scalp enables it to kind of kick off the, uh, the hot root effect that some people may have. So that's another way to use dark shadows. You don't have to use dark shadows for just the routage. Uh, if you're doing an all over color, I'll do anywhere from five to 10 grams. Like I said, it's very powerful. So five grams is all you need to a full tube of the desired permanent color you're using. We're living in a day and age where a lot of our clients generally prefer cooler colors. So I feel that if you're able to do that in your formula, whether you're doing um, a rose gold or dusty lavender or some of our other series that we will be launching later, uh, adding that to your formula will ensure that you won't have to worry about the excess warmth. All right guys, so so far I mixed my Denity Level 8 Silver Pearl Permanent Color here, which I'm gonna run through some of her ends to create that silvery appearance. So now I'm gonna measure in the My Dandy Color Max Dual Boosters and Pink Glow and Aqua Blue and Ultraviolet and Turquoise, okay? So I mix these with six volume. Okay, so we're gonna do the Pink Glow first. And the Pink Glow is very powerful on its own. It's gonna come out like a glowing pink, like super. Okay, so I don't need much. I'm just gonna measure about 11 grams of the pink glow. Now, what you see in the bowl isn't what you're gonna get on the hair um, as far as potency. You see the pink, but once you oxidize it, it becomes very, very potent. And this could be used alone with just six volume, or you can mix it in with the color. So I can mix this in with the SP, Silver Pearl, or uh, the Dark Shadows, however you want to be creative with the Dual Booster. That's why it's called a Dual Booster, because you can mix it with the Permanent, the Dim Eye, or use it alone, mixing it with 6 volume, 10 volume, 20 volume, whatever it is that you're utilizing it for. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the Turquoise, okay? So when it comes off the tube, it looks like kind of like a, a, a leafy green, like so like that, but once it's on the hair, you're gonna get that turquoise. So if you get the swatch, you'll definitely see what it looks like. And I believe our model here is like, oh, this is very interesting. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna measure the six volume in as well. Okay, so this is the blue. And it looks very deep here, okay? But don't be scared. I'm gonna mix the equal parts as well to the six volume developer, just like so. And then now we are gonna do the ultraviolet and then this is what it's going to look like coming out the tube we don't need much because because kristen's hair is pretty pretty short and i'm only using these colors as accent she's mainly going to be level eight silver pearl uh, permanent color so taking a look at the pink glow here with the developer i'm just going to go ahead and stir her up mix her in so you guys get to see Sometimes I find, yes, you can use it by itself without the developer, but you're not gonna see the oxidation go through. It's a very unique technology that um, I, I personally haven't seen done in this sort of way where you mix it in with permanent, demi, use alone with uh, a developer to oxidize the dyes and to create this much pigmentation uh, with so much power. Okay, here's the violet, mixing her up. And let me tell you a little bit about the turquoise uh, going into that next here after I mix it. Sometimes when you blend the color in with the permanent color, it turns purple. Don't get scared. You'll see what I mean later, okay? Um, when you rinse the hair off, it will be turquoise. You see how the green got darker already as the air touches it? Right when the air touches the, the turquoise, you see a different oxidation level in it. It's just such a new technology that's being introduced that I feel like if I don't show you guys this live um, as I'm doing it, you guys may not understand what is going on. Okay, and this is the blue. Kristen, how do you feel? I'm so excited right now. Oh, good. So beautiful. Okay, let's get stalted. All right, so I already apply in the back in a triangular, or more like a rainbow formation. Uh, permanent my dandy color 8sp silver pearl dragging down from that shadow root of the dark shadow now i'm going to go in okay i'm going to place in 
my identity, Silver Pearl, level eight, right in the middle of the transition, right at the top. And it's okay if I merge the dark shadows in a little bit and blur it down. But here is where I'm gonna blend things through, okay? Let's do the turquoise because we can, right? So we're gonna go in the turquoise and blur that through, right? Only on the ends. And this is the beauty of the dual booster is that you can merge these boosters in with permanent color or mix them together. And here's that purple thing I was telling you about. When it touches ammonia, you'll see it turning slightly purple, but that's not what it's gonna look like. When you rinse the hair, the purple won't be there, so don't get scared. Okay, so we're just gonna drop it like that and let it sit and oxidize. So ignore that purple. Okay, I'm gonna say that again, okay, because I know someone's gonna get very confused because when they use the, the turquoise dual booster, someone's gonna be like, why is it turning purple? I'm telling you again, do not get scared. It's not gonna be purple. When you rinse it, it's gonna be awesome transition from that silver pearl into that turquoise. But look how beautiful that turquoise looks, just developing right there on its own, right? So you see how it looks more green in that bowl, but look how when it touches her hair, it turquoises or turquoise eyes, I don't even know if that's a word, whatever, you guys know what I mean. It turns into that turquoise color, beautiful, right? So I always keep a towel nearby so where I can wipe my hands. So I'm gonna come over here where I put my towel because this is an organic experience. This is real life scenario here. Okay, because I don't wanna contaminate the other strands. I only wanna put the dual booster just to create accent tones, right? So right above it, right here on her crown area, I am just gonna use the silver pearl right by itself. And you're the artist, you could section the hair the way you want, place the color where you want. This is all up to you. Okay, hair besties. I love merging it into the routage area, okay? And this is gonna go all the way down, just like that. And I actually prefer using more of the silver pearl, less of the accent dull booster tones because they're gonna pop on their own. So you don't need much of it. So I'm gonna wrap this over that away. Okay, I say that away. <laughs> and right over here, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, accent means a little bit. Just like when we have an accent wall in our home, you don't want that every single wall in your room to be turquoise, you know, and it won't be considered an accent anymore when that's all you see, right? That's why you're gonna see me apply more of the Silver Pearl Permanent. And then right above it, I'm gonna choose my next color. Most likely, I want something that it's the opposite of what is down here. So I'm probably gonna use our pink. Why? Because I can. You guys get creative, do what you want, and I can't wait. Okay, going in with my identity, Silver Pearl Level 8 again, right above the part that I dragged down all of the Level 8 SP. I'm just gonna go midway through on this one. Leave just the tips out. Wipe your hands and get in there with that pink glow. Now the pink looks kinda like a baby pink. But when it starts to develop on the ends of the hair, you'll see it starts to pop. Okay, she is gonna be a popper, sitting right next to that turquoise. And keep in mind, sometimes when you're looking at it develop, it may look dark and scary, but trust me, when it's done, you're like, oh, that's very soft. It's very iridescent. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be so exciting to see. This is where I'm gonna decide to put the blue just because we put the silver pearl all the way down through here. So I'm gonna put silver pearl in the mids and blend it in with the dark shadows right through here. Okay, now you don't have to wipe your gloves. You can actually just marry the colors together to make more of a blend if you want. I'll give you an example. And I'm doing this because I want you guys to see what I'm saying. Do you see how it's contaminated with the silver pearl permanent color? I'm just gonna go in and put the blue right on top, okay? And work it in while the contamination is happening. Okay, so that way you'll see it blend perfectly through. And then use your two fingers and get in there and finger that hair and stroke it in just like that to make it blend, right? And drop it down. See that? And if you just let it sit and rest nicely on the other hairs, it should be fine. Right above that, I'm just gonna do all silver pearl, that way it completely hides the blue. So when the hair moves, it creates a veil effect and you see the color splashing through. Splashing through, P 
peeking through. I don't like to use the word peek peekaboo because it's like peekaboo and it's just it's kind of weird. So that's why I just say it just splashes through the hair. Another way to utilize the dual booster. Okay, let's take the pink booster. On top of the color, you can do a stroke of pink to create an iridescent tone, just resting right there in the middle on top of that permanent color. And this is something you really couldn't do in the past. So that's why the dual boosters is gonna be your best friend. You could do so many things. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. Wait, let me show you something else I'm gonna do. Okay, so while that's processing, let's do a little violet booster painting over the top of that. Okay, create kind of like a subtle balayage effect. This technology enables us to be even more creative. You could either transition into the color or paint over the color and not worry about distortion. In the past, I feel that when we're using a direct dye and you're trying to paint over a demi-permanent or a permanent color, what could happen is it creates a distortion or uh, disruption in the dyes and they don't intermix. The, scientifically, it does not work. Uh, it doesn't survive in the ammonia element. So with this technology and my identity, Color Max Dual Booster, you're able to be an artist and create this prismatic, um, opal-like reflection, layering the colors on top of one another. Who's impressed? I am! <laughs> okay guys, so I just finished one side of Kristen's head and I want you guys to see the processing porn situation. Take a look, some of them I put 8SP down first and then I paint over the top of the surface and it creating that prismatic tonal effect. And some of them I left the ends out and using the pure tone just on the ends to ombre the tones down, creating some ins and outs of different, almost like when you look at a, a crystal and the rainbow light reflects from, from within, that's what we're working on creating here. So that way it has like different dimension of tones just like poof, bursting through. So I'm gonna slightly turn her head here so you get to see. So you'll see me use primarily 8SP throughout her whole head because we do want that silver tone but a little bit of this creates that movement, right? A little bit of that uh, Color Max Dual Booster. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And this way you could be creative. You could just use one tone, just two or all four, makes dark shadows into some of them. And it enables you to do whatever you like. Be creative in ways that we've never been able to before. All right guys, I just got done with Kristen's color application. Take a look. It's. Magnificent, gorgeous. Look at that shadow routage up there with the dark shadow and the colors just blurring together. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. I can't wait. Yee! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Kristen. How do you feel about your hair? Uh, guys, I love it. Look at this. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I'm speechless. I don't really know what to say. I love her short hair. I love her sassy attitude. And now she has the hair to match because you're a badass. You're like a, I mean, I, what did I call you earlier? Grunge. A grungy, <laughs> right. A grungy, but now you're a, a couture. Yeah, yeah. She's grunge Something couture. Like you're grunge couture. And I am in love with your hair. You just made my outsides match my insides. That's all. I can't wait for you guys to try the My Dandy Color Max Dual Booster because it'll change your life. I mean, being able to add the, per, uh, the Dual Booster into the permanent or the demi, you get to be so creative. As you can see, every time she moves her head from left to right and up and down and all around, you get to see all that motion. Okay, guys, <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to try it. Give us a shake. Yes. So what are you waiting for? I can't wait to see it. And make sure to hashtag my identity. Bye.